What's going on everybody? I'm a few so today we're gonna do episode 237. Today we're gonna do the final destination. Or as I like to call it, Final Destination 4. Because yeah. It's like I hate when movie sequels just go with the as the first movie or just the like I believe I believe so. I don't know. You could correct me in the comments below, but it's just like with the Fast and Furious movies, it's like It's like the first one's just called Fast and Furious, and then of course Tokyo, and then of course, Too Fast, Too Furious, and I think Tokyo Drift after that, and it's just like the fourth one was just called The Fashion of Furious. It's like, what was with that? It's like, because then you're confusing people thinking it's the first one, or remake of the first one. It'll just like, be like, The Fast and Furious Part 4, just go like that. I can't believe there's like, 11 Fast and Furious movies, or just like, 10 Fast and Furious movies. That's nuts. That's just nuts. I mean, who's, I mean, yeah. I like the heart the far the fifth one. Looks like everything else is just like eh. I like the fifth one I guess. Yeah. Let's see, of course. Today we're talking about Final Destination 4. Which is the final destination while enjoying a day on the track, Nickel Bannon has a horrifying premission. Of his friends and him, an all dying freak accident involving many racers. Mere seconds before the vision comes true, he manages to convince them to leave. Although they, they cheat death at then, the survivors each begin to meet Goodsley, and Nick tries to figure out a way to escape a similar fate. So, yes. <coughs> In 5.2, I don't know. I'll give this one a 7.5 out of 10. It's just like, it's not that great. I mean, the kills were pretty cool, but the 3D effect was pretty cool, even though I watched this movie in 2D on Netflix. Thank you, Netflix. But anyway, Netflix, sponsor me. But anyway, you know, yeah. You know, of course, you got, of course, a bunch of nobodies. I don't know any of these people. But anyway, so like, yeah. I mean, Final Destination 4, not bad, but... Yeah, this is what made me want to watch the Final Destination movies after the fourth one came out because it's like I saw the fourth one, I was like, cool, okay. Because I was like, I thought this was the first one, and then a couple years later, when Final Destination th Five came out, I was like, I was like, okay, how many more is there? Okay, so yeah, and then yesterday, well, like last week on HBO Max, I finally found Final Destination Five. So I was like, yes, now I can finally finish this series until they, until six comes out. So yeah. <coughs> And of course, I'm not an idiot. I watch these in order. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah. So anyway. <sighs> um. Yeah. So like I said before, 7.5 out of 10. I really did not enjoy it as much as I did with the first three. It's like the first three are really damn good. And it's just this one. It's good, but it's just... It does have some problems. <sighs> Yeah, it's like after the fourth movie, people probably get bored of it because it's like it's the same thing, but except different scenarios. It's like I didn't get bored; I just like the kills. But it's just like, yeah, I can see why. But it's just like, yeah, I can see why. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it for this review of Final Destination Four. Of course, for the title, I'm gonna call it Final Destination 4 because I'm not calling it The Final Destination because people know it's Final Destination 4. So that's what I'm gonna call it in the comments. I mean, in the title of the video. So yeah, see you guys next time when we do Final Destination 5. See you guys next time.